afternoon, it's Thursday the 12th of January 2023 and you join me in Battambang in Cambodia. So I left Phnom Penh at the early morning time of 6 o'clock this morning. I had a train at 20 to 7 so not a pleasant morning. Especially with guys and we've had phone conversations on the phone at 2am which was, yeah, very, very annoying to say the least. Uh, I think I've spoken about this in previous vlogs and it's just sort of like you know, just respect your fellow travellers because they may have to be up early. Um, I had problems with them the previous night, but I gave them the benefit of the doubt. But yeah, last night, I don't know, they were just, they, I don't know, maybe they had stayed in hostels before, but you just kind of like respect other people. If people are getting up early, you respect the people going to bed at night, you try and keep the noise down. And obviously, when you have a whole hostel outside of your room where you can take phone calls, weird one, something, again, it, Thankfully, it doesn't happen that often, but when it does, it is just a bit annoying. And of course, it had to happen when I had to be up early. So it is what it is. I'm a bit tired, but I'm not too bad. But yeah, got the train this morning, left Phnom Penh at 6 45 got to Battambang at 1 o'clock this afternoon. So my train arrived two hours early, which I think is a world record. That, or a record in my book, because I don't think a Northern Wales train has ever arrived two hours early for me. So that was fantastic. Then, had some lunch, just chilled for a bit. And now I'm doing my first bit of sightseeing in Battambang. I'm going to the Bat Caves, which is about 20 minutes, 20 minutes southwest of, of where, where, where the hotels are. Where I'm staying in the centre, 20 minutes southwest. So I'm going to go do that today. And yeah, the, hopefully the return of a familiar face. Who should have been in the last video in in Phnom Penh, but um, hopefully she'll be making an appearance today if um, things go well. So yeah, stay tuned for a surprise guest. Here for two nights, tonight and tomorrow, staying in a hotel, eight pounds a night. I'll show you guys that, show you guys that later. It's not too bad, how about it worse? It is what it is. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, I'll keep you updated. Nothing too major here, just gonna do the back caves, the bamboo train in Battambang. So back caves today and I'm back uh, the bamboo cave, uh, bamboo train tomorrow. And then on Saturday morning, I get the bus up to Siem Reap for four days of exploring, tourist stuff, partying, Angkor Wat. So yeah, excited for that. Right, let's enjoy Battambang. Stay tuned. We've arrived at the Bat Caves. So the bats don't come out for another hour and a half, so just going to explore some a little bit. Stop with one. A little bit of a view. Feature the Cambodian flag. Unreal view. It reminds me so much of um, Zamne viewpoint in Laos. Same sort of feel. Dusty road in the middle. Yeah, beautiful. A couple of other things there, there's like a killing cave, which I'm not going to video because it's obviously, uh, you know, you've got to pay respect to the environment that you're in. There's also a temple just, just behind me over there. Don't know where you can see that, so when you go up there, that's a nice viewpoint. And then I'll head to bat down and try and catch the bats at about half five. It's ten past four now, so yeah, that's the plan. Catch you at the next stop. Just down the corner there, I had to be really quick taking a photo because of the, the little devils, the cheeky monkeys, which is there's there's one. There you go, there you go. There's loads of them, there's absolutely all of the trees and stuff. So you just gotta be a bit careful because I know I've seen phones being nicked, I've seen all sorts being nicked over the years when I've been around monkeys, so yeah, just gotta be a bit careful. What the fuck? <laughs> How you doing? Bad on the bottom. So sweaty today. Jeez, very, very humid here. Anyway, behind me, back cave. So, basically, just gonna wait, wait about 10, 20 minutes or so, and all the bats will come find out the cave. And I'll try to get the money shot and more coming out. leave the cave and then they go to the lake for the evening or even for the or for overnight to search for food etc and then they return to the cave in the morning at sunrise and apparently it takes about an hour for all the bats to go out so that's quite a long time 
I watched it for 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes then. It's time to go, time to head back. So next scenes, not sure where they'll be, back in Battenbank. Right, what's going on? So you join me in my hotel room. I'll show you what eight pound a night gets you in uh, in a hotel in Battenbank. There's all my shit on the floor. I had a nap earlier on. Second bed. I I did ask for a double bed, but did I not? Not happened. Bathroom. Yeah. And there's me. Yeah, it's okay. I stayed in something similar in Bali for a similar price, and it, it, yeah, it's, it is what it is. It's okay. Be alright for a couple of nights. Of course, it makes a nice change not have to listen to people snore. So, yeah, got back and I just went for dinner at a place called the Pizza Company, and then went for some dessert at a place called Sweetens. Both a bit average, really. Still hungry. I've still struggling with portion sizes. I think it's like the combination of portion sizes and the lack of protein, like protein, obviously. I would sort of say to levels sort of feeling the fullness and I think obviously not eating as much protein as usual and then there's portion sizes are just killing me. It's like I'm still hungry. I must have eaten probably like 1500 2000 calories in that meal and yeah, hungry. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up today here. Tomorrow my only full day and final the full day in Baton Bang. So yeah, I'll let you know what I get up to. Stay tuned, see you in the morning guys. Afternoon, we meet in Battenbang in Cambodia. My final full day here in Battenbang. So yeah, gonna be doing a few things, a couple of things today. So it's just the afternoon now, so I got up, had some breakfast, then just been chilling really. Just wanted to chill. And now on in a tuk-tuk on the way to a place called the Bamboo Train. So it's quite a famous thing here in Battenbang. Basically, it's a, yeah, a bamboo train, it's actually a train on a, a bamboo on a train track basically. It's meant to be quite fun. So, I'll see you there, and then later on, maybe Bruce at bar, and then early night, it's got a early bus to CM Reap in the morning. Being back to last night, I went for some dinner, a place called the Pizza Company, and then went for some dessert, a place called Sweetens. Not too bad. These, these Cambodian food sizes, or portion sizes, kill, absolutely killing me still, so, hey, it is what it is. Right, I'll catch you guys at the bamboo train, see you later. Uh, it's quick! Bamboo train was a lot of fun. Pretty quick and you're pretty low to the ground so it, it feels like you're going really, really fast. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, it's quite long as well. I think it's about probably like maybe 10 minutes each way. So it's, yeah, it's a good 20 minutes or so you're on this track. So yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. It was a lot of fun, it was a lot of fun. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. My tuk-tuk's broken down. So uh, I'm currently stuck in the uh, Battenbang uh, countryside with um, a broken down tuk-tuk, probably like 20 minute drive, 15 minute drive away from the city or town centre. So uh, waiting to be fixed so I can get back on the road. I'm not sure what's going on, we got here fine, got the same tuk-tuk here and then getting the same tuk-tuk back, but yeah, not too sure what's going on. So uh, yeah, casually stood by the side of the road while we, uh, my tuk-tuk driver rectifies the situation. Right, back in the centre of Batman now. That was an interesting experience, obviously getting uh, broken down tuk tuk that's the first time that's happened and then obviously get, it was getting towed by another tuk tuk very interesting very bizarre just weird you know you don't think about these things like in the uk if you you break down you just call the rac or you call aa or you call whoever whereas over here it's proper old school proper like yeah you just just, just get pulled 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 behind another tuk tuk very interesting word whatever however you want to describe it Anyway, back in Battenbang now, just gonna have a bit of a walk, maybe show you guys a tiny, tiny few bits. If I head back and just chill for a bit. So yeah, this is the centre of Batman, it's where a lot of the majority of the shops are, the majority of sort of restaurants are, sort of guest houses, etc. around here. And then, ooh, don't want really to talk to talk. And if you look right down the end, I don't know how you can see that, that is where like the central market is, so yeah, it's pretty busy, the central market. I think it's open every single day, so yeah, it's, it's quite quite busy. I did have a walk before, and it, yeah, quite a few stores, etc. Now, the way I'm walking, I'm walking down to the river, so there is the river. 
So we're gonna go and have a walk down. I had dinner here last night at the pizza company, so I saw it at night. Quite interesting. It was busy, so. Apau is the, the second most popular city in Cambodia after Phnom Penh, which I'm quite surprised at, because I would have thought Siem Reap, with obviously the history of Angkor Wat, I would have thought that would be the, the busiest However, it's not the case. So, yeah, a bit of a bit of some interest in that for you. So, yeah, and this is the Riverside. Very busy, actually. Very, very busy. Busy than it was last night. I'll just I'll show you the river and then probably call it an evening before I maybe go to a rooftop bar if I can be bothered. I just don't know if I'm feeling it. And there's no like, there's no like skyscrapers here, so. I don't even get a good roof up bars, I don't think you'd get a great view. I also need to pick up my washing as well, so obviously in when you're in this part of the world what you tend to do, you wash is just give it in and then someone does it for you and then it just comes back. It's like amazing. It's like life of luxury, you know, not having to do your own laundry, whereas in Europe you have to do your own laundry, you know. And it's um significantly cheaper than Europe, even though you get it done for you. So yeah, there's a little bit of a thing. Anyway, uh, down by the river, the river. There, there. Yeah, that's it. Right, I'm just have a keep walking. If anything interesting, I'll see film. If not, I will uh, maybe see you later. Right, he joined me at the Sangi Sky Bar, and we're gonna finish with the with the view from the Sky Bar uh, for the video for dinner, and then just came here. Nothing too major. We'll have a quick drink here, and then head home or head back to the hotel. Try and get an early night-ish. Next scenes will be semi tomorrow. Get a bus there in the morning. Bang bang, done and dusted, whirlwind, two nights, semi in the morning, final four days in Cambodia. I apologise to the quality on this, it was a spontaneous adventure, I wasn't sure I was going to get in, but because um, I'm not wearing, but I'm on phone, so apologies. But yeah, next scenes will be in semi. Bus there tomorrow, thanks so much for watching. Battle done, semi next, Asia adventures continue. See you later, guys.